I'm going to talk about uh, bipolar percussion and it's a technique that was used quite a bit here in Alberta. Um, the reason it's quite a popular technique is um, most of Alberta, at least the eastern portions, had been um, impacted by the glaciers and what happens is it, it smeared um, different rock types all across the landscape and um, in the process it actually created um, a lot of well, um, rounded cobbles of uh, various materials and um, the reason this technique is used um, for this type of stone is there's actually no um, good place to start um, chipping this thing. Um, it doesn't have the right angles and so one of the things that they would actually do is they would split these cobbles um, in half and that way they could uh, start chipping them. The other reason this technique was used uh, quite a bit is because as you can see a lot of these a lot of these pebbles are actually kind of small. These are big examples. Um, a lot of times the things that they would be splitting would be considerably smaller than this and um, this is a good way to actually break them break the rocks open and uh, start working them from there. Um, some of the common materials that they would be using to split would be things like this. This is quartzite. Um, obviously you can get much larger cobbles of quartzite in Alberta but a lot of the river worn and glacier worn um, cobbles would be of this size. Another common material was um, pebble chert and um, I don't have an example of that here but um, that was definitely one of the materials that they would um, split a lot with using bipolar percussion. Um, it's actually a fairly simple technique. Um, what you need is you need an anvil, an anvil stone and that's what this thing here is and, what you'll, and you need uh, a large hammer stone like this here and what you do is it's pretty straightforward is you just seat the cobble that you're going to split on top of the anvil and then you take your your hammer stone and you come down on it like this and what happens is you have uh, an impact point here but you also have an impact point on the on the bottom and what happens is they come they come together and they actually will split this cobble right in half um, if I can successfully split this I'll show you some of the the uh, things that make a bipolar split cobble or pebble different than um, one that's been chipped in using another technique. All right. So what I have to do is I have to seat it on on my anvil here, and I'm going to have to cover it up mostly because I got to hold on to it pretty hard. And <clears throat> basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hammer stone and I'm just going to come straight down on top of it, and hopefully I can get this split. Um, uh, one of the things I should mention about this technique is um, it's a little less predictable than the other uh, flaking techniques um, because there's an added element of impact coming from the bottom. Um, I can't control it as well as, as I can if I were um, chipping it in another way. So let's just give this a, a whack and see what happens. Be prepared to turn the camera off because I might hit my hand and start crying like a baby. <laughs> yeah. Let's try. That's the problem with this new anvil stone is it doesn't have the nice pit in the middle of it where I can seat my, my stone in there without it slipping on me. <clears throat> now. There we go. That worked perfectly. All right, so the, the unique thing about uh, a split pebble is it has an impact point on this end but there's also an impact point on the other end. Um, the other unique feature uh, of a bipolar split pebble 
is the bulb of percussion is almost non-existent. Um, you can see that it's actually quite flat in through here on both ends, right? Um, and you'll see that that happens on, on both of these split pebbles. So you can see there's, there's an impact point and then there's an impact point on that side. And again, the ventral surface is actually quite flat. And now <clears throat> with these, I've, gener I've created um, an edge that I can actually start working. Uh, and I could probably, I could turn this into a scraping tool or a simple retouch flake or basically any kind of tool that I want, right? Um, and I've actually created two that are pretty much the same and I can do both, the same with both of those. Right, let's see if we can do it again. I'll try a slightly larger cobble. The thing about <clears throat> bipolar percussion is, yeah, you, a lot of times you're doing it with, with small pebbles like this, um, but in some cases you're actually doing it with cobbles that are this big. Um, and obviously the, the stone that you're gonna use as a hammer is gonna be quite a bit bigger. Um, what happens is the bigger the stone that you're trying to split, the bigger your hammer stone has to be and the bigger your anvil has to be. See. I think I'm going to see it like that. There. It's actually a nice little, got some nice chert in there. Um, that's really nice chert. I'm going to try and see if I can split it a different direction here. <clears throat> what happens is um, if you keep bashing on the, the end, you'll see that these little flakes come off and then I can't keep striking this end here or it's just going to make this whole thing a big mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it and I'm going to straight work, hit it from here and hopefully try and split it in a different direction here. Well, of course, that's what happened. Okay, it split the wrong way, but that's fine because uh, I've actually cracked it open. And so now I've, even though it's, it's quite small, um, this is such a nice chert that I may in fact try and get some stuff off of here, but I've created a created an edge where I can actually start taking some stuff off of here. Um, hopefully, get some small flakes off of here, off of that one. But again, you can see there's my there's one point of impact. There's another one. There's very very little in terms of a, a bulb of percussion. It's almost non-existent. Um, and the other thing you'll notice is um, in a lot of cases you'll have uh, compression rings coming from this way and that way. That's the other sort of unique feature of uh, split pebbles. <laughs>